So this is you right here then, huh? Inside the Holloway home in Gentilly, it's clear is that, this is you right here now. This family is close. And last Saturday, Sydney Holloway received the call. No family member of a law enforcement officer ever wants or expects to get. And even when I was on my way to the hospital, I had to pass up the scene because it was like a minute away from my house. It's right up the street. Yeah, and I just wasn't expecting it. And I was in New York, and it still seems unreal to me because I wasn't able to go to the hospital and see the body. So I feel like until I actually see him in the castle, it won't be real. I'm still waiting for him to call me and say, what are you doing, Kayla? What's up today? Like, what are you going to eat for dinner? What are you cooking? I'm still waiting for that phone call. And when I got the call, I just broke down. I couldn't believe it. But Saturday morning, Sydney, a student at Ben Franklin High School, and her sister, Kayla, who attends Howard University, received word their father, longtime NOPD officer Daryl Holloway, was shot and killed while transporting a suspect to Central Lockup. Like, I just wish that night I would have called my dad and told him how much I missed him, how much I loved him, and how much I wanted to see him because I really didn't know that this would happen the next morning. Yeah, and the night before, I was getting his Father's Day gift and stuff, and I was talking about that, asking him what he wanted for Father's Day, and I just wish I could have told him, you know, that I love him and that I'm grateful for everything that he's done for me. 33-year-old Travis Boyce is in custody and charged with first-degree murder. That means if convicted, he could face the death penalty. I mean, we heard about it. Like, we thought that it was definitely a possibility, but I didn't really think much about it. Do you feel strongly one way or the other? As long as he's away and not able to hurt anyone else, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, how can you just take a life and not take into consideration that person, his family, and all the people whose lives he touched and whose lives it would impact what he did?